She is joining us in studio tonight with more on this story. Good evening, Keith and Jen. The Lopez family going through a wide range of emotions tonight, calling this a tragedy and a horrifying nightmare. That's now their new reality. But at the same time, the family says this day is also bittersweet. They're welcoming a new family member, but a nephew, Jacob, will never meet. He's gone, but I know he's in a better place. A mother in mourning, Claudia Lopez leaning on strength from the community, unable to process her new painful reality. Her 17-year-old son, Jacob, is gone. I still think I'm going to wake up and I'm going to see him. That maybe is not true, but it's true. My baby's gone. Tonight, hundreds gathering for a balloon release, celebrating his vibrant life and shining a light on his hobbies, like fixing up his vintage Volkswagen Beetle and his love for playing the guitar. We let him be who he was, and I'll never have regrets for that, ever. <laughs> Just regrets for not spending as much time as I wanted with him. But I know we had some real good times together. <laughs> The straight-A Plant City High School junior was on track to graduate early, but last Saturday, his life was cut short. He was one of six passengers killed after their SUV collided with a train at a railroad crossing off Highway 92. I hope we can get some answers of, of why they haven't done anything to protect that intersection, that the railroad you know, crossing. Um, hopefully that we can um, bring some light into this horrible accident. But tonight the focus is on family and the juxtaposition that Jacob's sister delivered a baby boy late last night. A new nephew, Jacob, will never meet. It was so bittersweet trying to celebrate having my grandbaby come into this world, but then my son exiting this world. But I know that he wouldn't want us to be sad. The entire community wrapping their arms around the Lopez family, and they are so grateful for the support. We're also learning that Jacob and his nephew were born at the exact same time, 10:19 p.m. However, tomorrow will be another painful hurdle for the Lopez family as they begin the process of making funeral arrangements. In the studio, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side.